Hey guys, it's Caroline over at Touareg. Today we're going to be checking out number one of seven from our Heritage series. For the first time ever, Torg is doing a seven van series. This means that we're making seven identical vans with color variations at a really great price. The best part of the Heritage Collection is that at a great price, you're not sacrificing any of the off-grid capabilities that you need for van life. Each Heritage van is gonna come with the Torg off-grid starter kit that comes with a nomadic 12 volt air conditioner, cooktop, sink, fridge, 600 amp hour lithium system, and an agile suspension rip kit. You'll notice that there's a lot of open space in this van, not something that you're typically gonna see in a traditional camper van. That makes this model, the Heritage Series, perfect for a single or a duo, and maybe you have some dogs or even cats traveling with you. All of this open space gives you so much versatility and invites anybody to come in and join you. Right as we enter, we're going to find two switches right on this pillar. The one in the front is going to control the lights closest to us. The one in the back is going to control the lights furthest from us. If we hold this or double click it, we'll see all of our ceiling lights dim. Also located right as you enter the doorway, in our passenger seat base, we're going to find our first heat register for our aqua hot heating system. We additionally have another one under the settee. In Heritage number one, we have a textured black cabinet. This is going to be true for our upper cabinets, our galley cabinet, our settee cabinets, and our rear utility cabinets. Each model is going to have a set cabinet color along with an interior wall color and a ceiling panel color. Another flagship feature that you're going to see in every Touareg is going to be our upper and lower cabinet lighting. Our upper cabinets can also be dimmed. Our lower cabinets can be controlled right here. My favorite choice of window is from AM Auto. It's going to be a slider style, so not only can we take the window back, but we can also take the screen all the way back. This allows a full pass through, so if you need to pass some drinks out the window, totally possible in this van. Another great feature of these windows is that they're much harder to break into. I hear more and more horror stories of vans getting broken into and all the valuables coming out of it. This way, there's no access from the outside to pop it open. Moving to our galley, we are going to have our single true induction cooktop. This is run off of our lithium battery system with the inverter turned on. Moving to the sink area, we have our Ruvati stainless steel nine inch deep sink. You're also gonna get some sort of sink filler with that so that you can extend your full counter space. What I love about the Ruvati sinks is that it comes with a bunch of different catchment systems. Any van lifer knows that these are essential to keep all of that gunk out of your gray water tank and everything smelling super clean. Underneath our sink, we're gonna have our kind of plumbing system control panel. Right here is our blue button, which means that our water pump is on, and it also illuminates our gauge. So this is gonna tell us how much water we have in our 28 gallon fresh tank. Below it, the one that turns red, is our gray water dump valve. What I love that Torg does here is that it's as easy as a click of a button to dump your gray water tank. Whether you have a bucket underneath the van, or you're using biodegradable soap out in nature, it's just one click and it's done. No RV hookups or anything like that. Finally, on this side, we're gonna have a three-way switch for a light in our garage area. If you get into bed, notice that that's still on underneath you, you can easily come here, turn it off without opening your rear doors. Below our sink controls, we are going to have three drawers here. Each are sized differently for different items, but it's a super easy way to keep things locked away 
not rolling all over the place, and organized in a small space. Finally, on our galley unit, we are going to talk about our Isotherm 130 liter cruise fridge. This one's awesome because it pulls out like a drawer, so it's really easy to access whether you're in the passenger seat in the front or maybe you're sitting over in the settee area. It has multiple different kind of layers of storage with a nice large freezer in the top. On the side of the sink unit, we have a 110 outlet and a dual USB charger. And below down here, we have a wash down point. This allows us to take an interior shower no matter where you are, just by hanging up the Toric portable shower basin and then connecting it here and turning on your hot water. Over here, you have your modular lagoon table, which allows for easy working from the van, or you can share a dinner between your guests and yourself. Now, let's check out what's underneath this big cabinet. So when we pull up our cushions off of our L-shaped couch, we're gonna find two different locking cabinets. When we pull the first one up, we have our aqua hot heat register underneath it. So this one's gonna be a little bit more shallow than when we walk over to the middle one. And this one, you're gonna have all of that room in there. When we check out the settee portion that's connected to our galley cabinet, we can open up not only the top, but also the front on our toilet cabinet. This allows for easy access and from the front, we can just go ahead and slide that toilet out when we need to use it. As we look in the corner pocket of the settee, we're going to find our eight gallon gray water tank that's mounted on the interior. Next to that, we're gonna see our Guzzle H2O water filter, easily accessible when you need to clean it or replace it. Of course, we're gonna have our nomadic 12 volt off-grid air conditioner. This runs off of our 600 amp hour lithium battery system, and we've even set you up so that you can add our auto start feature to this van when you purchase it for even more continuous use of this off-grid product. Typically, in a Touareg, you're gonna see our electrical system panels mounted on an upper cabinet that rests right here. For our Heritage series, we wanted to leave this open as a blank canvas for you so that you still have the opportunity to customize your van with Touareg. The first thing I would add if I bought this van is Touareg's new collapsible cabinet. These are great for our upper area, not only because they hold a lot of storage space, but they can also collapse into the wall when you're not using them. One item you will commonly see in a Touareg build is our little black pucks. You might have wondered what these are for. Well, you can put all sorts of different L-Track attachments into them. The ones in our galley area provide a space to hang our Touareg Bunker Basin portable shower. But in the bed area, you can hang up a water bottle or use those for any other need you might have. In our bed area, we're gonna see our two pop-out windows. So they're awning style. You just twist the knob, and these are really nice if you're having any bad weather, you're not gonna get any rain blowing in the van. It's just a nice little vent. On this side, we're gonna have our aqua hot control panel. We put it here so that you have easy access when you're in bed. If you need to bump that temperature up or turn it down, you can do so very easily without getting out of bed and disturbing your whole night's sleep. Finally, in our bed area, you're gonna notice that we have a lot of open space back here. Not very traditional for a Touareg van. Again, this is Touareg giving the new buyer the opportunity to customize it. Touareg has a very unique bed system. We use multiple bed panels that can be stacked or fully removed out of the van in order to provide you more vertical space in the rear area. Looking back at the bed, you're gonna see two silver flexi lights. These lights are awesome because not only can you dim them, but they also provide you a charging port in the bed area for a phone or an Apple Watch. In the garage area, behind our interior bulkhead, we are gonna find both of our utility cabinets. On my left side, we're gonna find our water cabinet. Inside, we'll see our 28-gallon freshwater tank and our aqua hot heating system. 
On the outside of the cabinet, we have our hose fill. So this is where we would plug in a hose when we want water in. When we want water out, we would plug in our hose down here and use our mixer for hot or cold water. Shifting over to the electrical cabinet, one thing I want to point out, again, tying into the versatility of these builds, is the gap that we have underneath the doors of each cabinet. We had every buyer in mind when we designed the Heritage Series, and we know how popular cargo trays are. So by adding this filler panel right below our door, we're still giving you the opportunity to add a cargo tray back here and still have full access to open either the electrical or the water cabinet doors. When we go in the electrical cabinet, we're gonna find our 600 amp hour lithium battery sy system with our classic Torig hex bracketing and heating pads on each battery. On the outside of the cabinet, we have a 12 volt outlet, perfect for a Dometic CFX cooler if you need extra food storage. Below that, we have our 110 volt power outlet, so you can easily charge your phone back here and still hang out. Every garage area Torig builds is gonna come with a cargo light, and below that, we're gonna have our l track right there. That's easy access to keep things tied in using this cabinet as kind of a shelf area whether that's using bungees or getting some different L-Track attachments for it. Looking at the back, we have our three-tier L-Track. This is perfect for a cargo tray addition, putting in Rocky mounts, or any type of cargo containment. You come around, uh, all you get is cold show. Uh, yeah, oh, you try. Moving to the exterior of the van, we'll jump down here to our Agile Rip Kit. This is a suspension upgrade that Torg installs on all of our vans that includes an upgraded strut, coil, leaf spring, and an added shock in the back. My favorite feature is the neoprene sleeve that comes with it. This helps keep dust and dirt out of your strut, improving the lifespan of the product. Down here, of course, we have a Black Rhino alloy wheel. This is gonna be the arsenal, a very beefy, aggressive look for an off-road rig. When we look up, we have our Torig roof rack, one of the lightest on the market, and it's gonna help protect our air conditioner, our solar panels, and our max fan. Not only is the added protection there, but we can also stack some of our crossbars if you're looking to add any cargo to the roof. If you liked what you saw in this video, stay tuned. We have six more of these Heritage models coming off the production line soon. They vary in colors and vehicle specs. The first two are 2022s, the next five are gonna be 2023s. If you're interested in learning more about the Heritage series, you can email me at sales at or give our shop a call and schedule a tour today. Bye.